Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm using the Weber kettle to cook something that I've never cooked before. It's going to be a pork belly, but I'm going to be making porchetta from this pork belly. First thing, we need to score the outside and the inside of the pork belly. Then we're going to season the inside of the pork belly. I used a Fiesta brand fajita seasoning as well as some pesto. I spread the pesto out into an even layer, then got the pork belly rolled up, tied up, and then on my skewer for the rotisserie. Seasoned the outside with some complete seasoning, got the grill started, and got it out on the grill. Now we're just gonna let this sit here and get dizzy. All right, there she goes, round and round. Now I'm gonna get the grate turned off or the inlet turned off to about a quarter open. I'm gonna close this off and we'll let it do its thing. I'll see it in a couple hours. Hey yo, this is Dash. Get ready. So, I'm back out of the grill. It's been an hour. Let's take a look at this. Not bad, right? Not bad. I gave you guys a close-up look there. But I'm going to stop this. And we're going to let it stop spinning. All right, in the middle, I'm at 74, 75 degrees there. That's at 111. That's at 92. So, right now, I actually want to see about doing something to try to crisp the skin up, but I don't really know how to do that. I think what I'm going to do is open up the heat, just open it wide open. And we're going to let this thing, let it fly. Seems like it's cooking at a pretty decent rate. So I'm going to get this turned back on. Now with the heat up, I'm hoping that it will continue to cook. It has only been an hour so far, and I'll check on it again in another half an hour, especially since I bumped the heat up. We will see just how it looks and what the temperature is internally in another half an hour or so. All right, so it's been an hour and a half since I put the porchetta on, and man, oh man, it smells great. One of the last things that I didn't tell you guys or, or when the last clip was happening, what I ended up doing was taking the water pan that was in in here from the slow ones here. I took the water pan out and let me show you what I have going on. Oh my goodness, would you just look at that? Jeez, that looks delicious. I'm not even going to lie. Wow. Wow! Y'all see that? All right, so the skin is starting to tighten up, but we have a lot of moisture on the skin, so I'm not, it's not crisping up. A lot of that fat and a lot of the, the juices and other things are running on it. And I'm just gonna check the temperature here. All right, there's 90 degrees. And I'm trying to get to the, the, to the exact middle. So how I'm doing that 
is basically hitting the rod and then pulling back a little bit. There's 76 degrees there. 82 degrees and closer to the end we have 115 all right so i think i'm going to be going for shooting for 140 degrees or so and we're not there yet so i'm gonna keep letting this roll i'll check on it again in another half an hour i'll see you guys soon it's been another half an hour or so i believe it's uh been been on the been on the grill for two hours so let's see what it looks like All right, so you guys saw up and close what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it temped or temp it right now so I can see. Now my crust, it seems like it's starting to form, but it's not there yet. 105 degrees, 120 degrees, 115 degrees. What I think I'm going to end up doing is quite possibly pulling it when the ends get to the temperature I need and just keeping in mind that we can't eat from the middle just yet. And what I'll probably do is slice up and cut up the, the portions from the middle so that my wife and kids can kind of make sandwiches out of it or something like that later. But I don't want the outside edges to be too overdone. But man, this thing... Starting to develop a crust, that's for sure. I don't know. I might have to stir the stir the, the charcoal up and maybe move it and put it directly. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move the charcoal basket directly under the the bruchetta in hopes to, to get more radiant heat directly on it and help it to woo, woo. Help it to develop. Ow! Strip through the glove. Help it to develop that outside crust. Oh, buddy. Woo! Let me show you what it looked like down there. All right. So I've moved the slow and sear basket directly underneath the porchetta in hopes of getting more of a, a crust on this porchetta. Man, it sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and get this closed off so uh, we don't have too much of a fire in there. But I'll see y'all in about a half an hour or so. All right. So it's been two and a half hours. And I'm sure you guys want to see what it looks like. So I think I told you guys the last time that I moved the charcoal basket from where it was to underneath of the porchetta to help crisp up the skin and... Hold on. Y'all want to see this, right? So yeah, there's that. Now the skin is not, there is a little bit of a crisp to the skin, but I won't say I really don't know what I did wrong. Probably could have or should have let this dry out a bit. I don't know, but my plan is this. Turn it to a point where I can temp it. Yeah, see my wife back there, she's eagerly waiting. I don't know if you can see her or not. She's eagerly waiting the porchetta to be done. All right. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do as I'm going to take the end up, oh, this is what happened when I had the rotisserie and I stopped it too long when I did the lamp. <clears throat> what I'm thinking I'm going to do is because this portion of the bruchetta is still not done yet, but this portion is because it's smaller. I'm going to cut the bruchetta about a third of the way in and slide that part off and then I'll bring it back out here to let it finish cooking. So. Let's do that. All 
All right, so I am in the house and I am gonna be joined by my wife. Say hi, oh. everybody. Hello, everyone. And taste testing number one. Come on this side, on my right side, please. All right, now I need you to stand right here on this end and you can come say hi to everyone. Hi. Yeah, I'm he's focused, yeah, he's focused. Can you hand me the uh, black cutting board, please? It's in the dishwasher, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so we have the bruschetta, and how'd I do? How does it look? It looks good. It looks good. I'm sorry, there's not there's the crust isn't there, and I probably I know you don't care. I care. I, I, all right, the crust isn't there. And I want to, like, I'm, I'm trying to debate on how or figure out how I can get the crust, crust, crustier, crisper. crisper. All right. So I told you guys when I was outside, I'm going to cut off this end of the porchetta because it is in fact done. And I don't want the smaller end of the porchetta to dry out. <laughs> can you turn it for me, please? All right, pretty good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. A little bit more. We should make him do that for a minute. All right. <laughs> All right, stop. It is in the middle. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right, stop. Now, let's pull this. No, no, no. You take this over there. Yes. Keep pulling. Pull it back. Thank you. I'm going to put it down. Yeah. All right. So, as you can maybe hopefully see, the inside, the very middle, is not done yet. There. And this end, we're going to have to definitely cut on this end. But. I think you guys, you guys want to see this? How does it look? It looks yummy. It looks it yummy? It, looks, it smells really good. All right. Can I grab a fork? Sure, you can grab that. Yes. Can you grab plates too, please? Mm -hmm. How does that look? So very pretty. Very good. Thank you, hon. Excited. Yes. Okay. I gave you more of a interior piece so you could have some of the 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 uh, pesto because it seemed like the outside edge, the pesto didn't really reach it. So you want a knife or you want something else? <laughs> I was going to give me a slice. <laughs> Oh, sure. Here, I can cut it up for you. Oh, you just breathe. Yeah. You just you say yes. Not right, dude. Come on, seriously. <laughs> he said he was ready. Can you use words to describe it? It's really good. You could do it again? Mm hmm. Can you taste the pesto? Mm hmm. Is it herby? I don't know why I got to pull all these things out of you. I'm sorry. Just, um, Duh. But we want the you, you know the reason Thank you're you. in the video right now is because we want your feedback. All right, let's see. Mm. I could taste the pesto in the meat. Mm. It's mm. smoky and it's still really warm and it's fatty and it's rich and it's juicy and it's, it's really good. It is really good. Oh man. Really good, right? It is good. Daddy's gonna be sick. I was gonna say that's two pieces. I okay. know. It's really good though. Mm -hmm. We could do this again. Mm -hmm. All right. So in case you don't know what they're getting at, I don't normally eat pork. <laughs> all right. So I have two bites of it. 
just to taste it, and I'm going back. <laughs> One, because I'm hungry, and I'm gonna smell this all day one morning. That's it. It's very good. Mm -hmm. But because I don't eat pork often, I probably will be sick after eating this. So I'm trying to chew on some of this that's out on the outside. Yes. I'm finding it hard to chew through. Okay. This part, I don't know what could have been different about the outside, but the inside is delicious. All right. Mm -mm. The, the outside for me, just to like the the more outside part, it was it was fine. Really. Well, maybe that was an outside part. Maybe it was just a part that. I, was it the twine? Did you give me some twine? Oh, maybe. My husband gave me twine. <laughs> I forgot I'm to gonna... cut it off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My husband, my son just swallowed it whole. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I actually got like the, the skin of it. Yeah, you're 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 right. I was just giving like I can't chew this. I'm I don't sorry. know what this is. <laughs> Had this been an SCA event, I'd have been disqualified. Wow, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And you find it hilarious. So she swallowed it all. No, I didn't eat any twine. Yeah, you probably he I don't know. <laughs> wow. Alright, well I'm gonna cut up some more of this for you guys to enjoy. And I'm gonna get the other piece back out on the on the, on the rotisserie, but I think we're done here. Uh, for me, for for me, cooking this the first time was it semi-successful or? I think it was extremely successful. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing is, yeah, we gotta figure out how to get this middle part cooked without drying it out because I am worried that you cut it. What happens? Because I'm watching juices just pour out everywhere. I know, but like it, it'll be kind of like how it, what it is on the on the edge. The outside edge wasn't to dry it out. Now, if you want to take a piece or part from the extreme outside edge and see. Yes, please. I'm gonna try that. There's... Yeah, keep putting it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just keep putting it there. Mm. Here, that was the outside edge piece. Mm, 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 mm. The outside edge is even tastes better. because it has the burnt mm. taste. I already. And it's smokiness mm, on the outside. I already knew. Well, you didn't tell that to everybody. Well, no, no, no. As soon as you were like, ooh, because is I. Is it different kind? Is it? It's different. Yeah. I like the outside edge. Um. I like the smokiness or whatever flavor it took in from the smoke mm -hmm. because that is really good. It really it, it permeated. No, it boosted it. Yeah. So had she had that bite it first, it, it made it more meaty. Like mm -hmm. it, it, it was just a good the punch. Mm -hmm. It was good. You just gotta interpret our. Sentence. I know, right? <laughs> This is <laughs> this is what being married for sixteen years and having him for fifteen years almost. You know, I I, I know what the sounds mean, mm. and oh, look. <laughs> I like the outside edge. Make more outside edge. Go 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 make it happen. We love you. No, you don't. Uh huh. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> I don't know how quite to do that. Leave that be. I am. Okay. I'm gonna put this back outside. <clears throat> uh. I was contemplating whether I was going to flip it uh, to have this on the far edge because it seemed like there was more fire on the left side of it. Oh, I could, I could, I could move the pan inside of the grill. You don't care. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys, <laughs> and she is in her, her, she's in a happy place right now. Can you give mommy her vegetables yes, so please. she can go ahead and sit down and eat? Mm -hmm. Try pan. So my wife whipped up some some mushrooms, onions, and spinach. You want to show them real quick what she did? Oh. Move it. Yep, yep. That'll, there? that'll okay. I guess. I don't know. It's just, you know, you throw it in the plate. on the salad. When you cook vegetables, just throw it all in. It'd be all right. Everybody in the pool. You guys yep. have, have heard me make some of those everything in the pool meals. Yeah. So I'm going to give them the hot fun. pan. Isn't it hot? It's not longer. I want to give it him a hot pan. I do. See? Well, they want to eat stuff like right away. Nobody wants to eat cold food. No. All right. That was really good. Did you Use some vegetables. Yeah, here, I, I'm gonna slice I said some I more was up. making a salad. Okay, I'll slice up more for you. Okay, guys, so. This is only the four okay guys. I know, <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. So. If you have done one of these before and you can offer up some some tips for it to help me to, to make it better but the pesto really worked out mm -hmm. the salt inside really worked out it helped I'm mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> she got more butcher twine <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's good enough that I don't even care. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to cut more pieces up for you? Yes. In a minute. Okay. But if you can help me out to make this better, please do. I will be looking at some other recipes and things like that. Um, what, what, oh, one of the things that I know I need to do, I need to slice the, put the, put the slits in the porchetta on the outside uh, in the other direction. I put them in the wrong direction. So they were with the same direction as the twine. And that's probably the problem. Had I been able to see the twine, I would have been able to cut it off a little easier. But it's it kind of like found its way into one of those cuts. And I can't see it. But what else do you have to add? No, no, I'm not adding any. I'm just thinking this pesto inside is delicious. It like is, it is really, it is really good. It's, so the, the thing is, happy. it wasn't just the pesto by itself. I put some salt in there as well. We love salt. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm... I can tell. But you know, I'm salt sensitive, so you did the right balance of salt. I have this on really video! Good. <laughs> really good. Man, even he's excited. Look here, I'll, I'll cut this up for you. I'm just gonna cut this whole pile up for you, and you can have at it. All right. Anybody else have anything else to add? I kinda wanna try with Worcestershire sauce. I don't know, I feel like it'd be a good combo. Here, take a couple pieces and then put some Worcestershire on it. Mom, get it. Thank and you. you hand it to it. Did we open it already? All right, I'm out. <laughs> Roll the outro. Get this back outside. I'm really glad you liked it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey look guys down below is listed the peel box if you want to send us something to try a sauce a seasoning some jerky feel free something funny something for us to try send it to the peel box below it's always listed in the description but thank you for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe join us on wednesday night at 9 p.m eastern we go live for two hours in the first hour, we talk about barbecue or something barbecue business related. The second hour, come as you please and bring your flesh. And we talk about anything. And then we talk about anything. All right. Well, not her, but me. So. Sometimes you, I peek. peek yes, you do. So you want to tell them, thank, thank them again for watching? Thank you again for watching. And we'll see you. Oh, I'm sorry. And please do subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you, Bye. guys. Bye.